And so it's kind of an interesting story about how I found this place. So originally I was, let's see, it was a couple of months ago. I, there's a Google Doc on the internet that has like a bunch of these rock cannon spots. And uh, there's a spot around here that had topaz. And a kid I knew found a place uh, on like Mine Dad or something. Uh, up north of here, there's supposed to be an old uranium mine that produced fluorite. So my plan was to drive out there, hit the spot with the topaz, and see if I could find that uranium mine. Went up, uh, almost got bit by a rattler looking for topaz, got a little disheartened, kept on down the road, realized that I probably wouldn't be able to find that uranium mine. And as luck would have it, I, uh, I saw a bunch of people in these orange vests in the road. I know what the deal was, so I slowed down. I thought maybe they were like stranded or something. And I rolled the window down, and they're like this weird hippie therapy group for troubled kids or something. And they asked me what I was doing out there, and I said, well, I'm just looking for fluorite. And some woman, who was like a one of the leaders, I guess, was all like, oh, I know where there's fluorite. So she comes over, and she's got this big old topo map, uh, the whole area, and she pointed a little spot out said this sheep road you're gonna take it uh, you're gonna find this pond and a couple of hills and I don't exactly remember what she said and took a picture of the map uh, went out to try and find it and uh, she did not lie there's tons of fluoride out here and already found what we're looking for. <laughs> it's right there. It's slightly discolored by the sun, but it would be green fluorite. That was your base of operations? Mm -hmm. You're proud of that rock. I a crap leaning on this rock. Like several pounds a year. Cal said me. Oh yeah, huh? This is all fluorite. Ah. That's why there's so much of it laying around right here. Oh wow, yeah, look at all that. Okay, this would be calcium fluorine, I believe. Typically forms in octahedronal crystals. And uh, don't eat it. Because <laughs> it's not gonna kill you if you inhale the powder, but if you ate it, it would probably make you pretty sick. Because, uh, you know, fluoride or fluorine. Where's the one I gave you? I put it on. <laughs> well, there's a nice one. That one's got a lot of purple in it. Yeah. And around these parts, most of the fluorite you find is green. Slightly more uncommon, but not especially rare, would be purple. Rarer, you find it blue. That's what I would like to find today. At home, I've got a lot of green fluorite, and i got a lot of purple fluorite. I only have like two pieces of blue fluorite. Well, I brought the shovel because most of the stuff on the surface is going to be fairly discolored. Just because the UV, uh, UV rays 
they bleach the color. That happens in most minerals, like topaz. All the stuff you find on the surface out near Topaz Mountain in the Thomas Range, or Thompson, whatever the hell, uh, it's all clear. But when you dig and you'll find a vug of it, it's all uh, sherry colored, which is it's kind of like a pink. Is this hole? Yeah. It's all me. <laughs> yeah, come over here. So there's a scene of gr uh, seam of green fluorite right here. It's all purple up here. There's some really dark purple as well. Like right here, all through here. Some more green up there. A lot of it right here. It's all over the place. Like right here where the sun doesn't shine much. Yeah. There's some really dark green. So it looks like, and so you know, all this stuff isn't so deeply colored just because of the sun. So my theory was, if you dig, you should be able to find some better colored stuff. But now that I understand the formation a bit better, it looks like there's a chance we'll find deeper, uh, uh, yeah, deeper colored stuff underground. But what I think happened is all of the uh, the fluorite is forming in these seams and just kind of chipping away over time and getting buried. So there is deeper colored stuff here, but instead of digging at least into the ground, you would be chiseling into the seams. Like there. All of this is purple fluorite. You see how deeply colored it is? Yeah compared to this, which is a lot lighter colored. Calcedony right there. It's Calcedony. Let's just get that out of the way. <laughs> but the rest of this is all fluorite. 
can tell like this is blue. Oh, it's mostly fluorite. There's a bit of focus. That would be great. Random material mixed in. Okay, it's not gonna focus. Anyway, this is blue. You can tell some of these pieces are green, some are purple. Right here. And, uh, a couple of somewhat blue pieces. Mm-hmm. They're very light blue. Well, I'd say this one's actually. I'd say that one is a true blue. It's just light. Mm-hmm. It's all been discolored by the sun. None of this is deep enough to actually, you know, no, no, deep in the earth enough to have a deep color. Yep.